Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another challenging question from cubic equations. Given equation is x plus 1 whole cube plus x plus 2 whole cube up to x plus 8 whole cube equal to 6 raised to the power 4 and we have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started this video by writing one powerful algebraic identity. It is a plus b whole cube. We know it is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So we will use this identity without using substitution. Let's solve. So I will expand all the given cubic expressions. So I will write x plus 1 whole cube first. So I can write x cube. In place of a, I am putting x. In place of b, it is 1. So, next term I will be writing 3x square times 1. Here I will be writing 3x times 1 square. And last term is b cube. b is 1 here, so 1 cube. Similarly, I can write x plus 2 whole cube. This will become x cube plus 3x square times 2 plus 3x times 2 square plus 2 cube. Similarly, I can write all the expansion, but I am writing here the last term x plus 8 whole cube equal to x cube plus 3x square times 8 plus 3x times 8 square plus 8 cube. Let us add all the equations. Once I will add all, this will give us 6 power 4. So left hand side, I will write 6 power 4. I am adding here. Okay, right hand side, how many x cube we are having? 8x cube. So we can write here. 8x cube. Now from next term we can take 3x square straight away common out. Then in bracket it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 8. So better is to write sigma n sum of n natural numbers from 1 to 8. In next term I can write 3x in bracket 1 square plus 2 square up to 8 square. So it is sum of squares of natural numbers. So we can write sigma n square n from 1 to 8. And last term I can write 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to 8 cube. So it is sigma sum of cubes of n natural numbers. So n 1 to 8 n cube. Now here you can see the three formulas are about to come sum of n natural numbers, sum of squares of n natural numbers, sum of cubes of n natural numbers. Let us write this equation first. So I can write 6 power 4 equal to 8x cube plus 3x square sigma n, n 1 to 8. Next term 3x sigma n square n will begin from 1 to 8. And last term I can write sigma n cube 1 to 8. Let's write three most powerful formulas from sequence and series. It is sum of n natural numbers sigma n. We know that it is n n plus 1 over 2. Similarly sigma n square it is n n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6. And sigma n cube, it is n n plus 1 over 2 whole square. So our equation here if you will notice sigma n 1 to 8, sigma n square 1 to 8. So ultimately we are going to put n equal to 8. Let's figure it out sigma n 1 to 8. So this value will be put n equal to 8. 8 times 9 over 2. 
सो इट विल बी फोर टाइम्स नाइन थर्टी सिक्स नाउ सिग्मा एन स्क्वायर हेयर आई विल पुट एट टाइम्स नाइन टाइम्स सेवनटीन ओवर सिक्स नाउ वी कैन कैंसिल इट विल बिकम टू थ्री जार टू फोर जार देन थ्री वन जार थ्री थ्री जार सो वी कैन राइट इट इज ट्वेल्व टाइम्स सेवनटीन एंड सिग्मा एन क्यूब फ्रॉम एन वन टू एट अगेन वी कैन राइट दिस थर्टी सिक्स होल स्क्वायर लेट्स पुट द वैल्यूज इन द इक्वेशन सो आई बी राइटिंग सिक्स पार फोर इक्वल टू एट एक्स क्यूब प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर सिग्मा एन सो आई बी राइटिंग थर्टी सिक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स Sigma n square, it is twelve times seventeen. Now sigma n cube, it is thirty six whole square. Now I will use one exponent property in LHS. Here we can write it is six power two whole square, two times two, using exponent property a power b whole power c. It would be equal to a power b times c. and right hand side would be as it is let's write here so it is 36 power 2 right hand side we can write 8x cube plus 3x square times 36 plus 3x times 12 times 17 and then we are having 36 whole square now you can see 36 square will be cancelled out from both sides let's write our equation 8x cube plus 3x square times 36 plus 3x times 12 times 17 equal to 0 now this equation is divisible by 4 so let's divide by 4 divide By four both sides, so I can write two x cube plus it will be nine times three, so twenty seven x square plus three times three is nine, seventeen nine zar one fifty three x equal to zero. Let's take x common, so it will become two x square plus twenty seven x. Plus one fifty three equal to zero. Now this is factorization done. I can write from here either x will be equal to zero. This is our very first real solution. Now let's check the quadratic one. Two x square plus twenty seven x plus one fifty three equal to zero. So I can write this equation here. 2x square plus 27x plus 153 equal to zero. Let us check discriminant only. So I will check discriminant b square minus 4ac. So let us write delta b square minus 4ac. So b square is 27 square minus 4 times a is 2, c is 153. 27 square is 729, and 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 153 is 1224. This value is coming out negative 495. Point is this value is negative, so we will get complex solutions. So this solution we will reject as we are calculating the real one. now which solution is accepted it is x is equal to 0 let us check this value whether it is true or not so let me write here check x equal to 0 so i can write x is equal to 0 so it will become 1 cube plus 2 cube plus dot 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 8 cube left hand side 
so sum of cubes of n natural numbers let me apply the formula n n plus 1 so i will write n n plus 1 over 2 whole square put n equal to 8 so 8 times 9 over 2 whole square so we can cancel 2 and 8 by writing 4 so it is converting into 4 times 9 whole square which is equal to 36 whole square now we can apply exponent law 36 can be written as 6 square whole square which is equal to 6 power 2 times 2 equal to 6 power 4 which is our RHS. So we will say x is equal to 0 will be the only real solution for the given cubic puzzle. I hope this video will be meaningful to you friends. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.